So I just wanna let you guys know that you can pick up I Wish I Never Knew Volume 1 and Volume 2 on Amazon and Lulu right now. Um, if you guys like horror, rock, dramas, thrillers, uh, you know, everything like that. If you guys uh, love rock music or a badass soundtrack to listen to while you read them, um, then you'll probably like I Wish I Never Knew. Uh, but the links are down in the description. Let's go ahead and get into this review. So what's up, everybody? I'm gonna be reviewing The Strangers 2, Pray at Night, um, or just The Strangers Pray at Night. I was gonna get the video up last night, but I, was, I wasn't I was feeling good. I was feeling like under the weather and stuff, and I'm still feeling under the weather right now. Um, but I went, I saw the movie, and I will say, I think this movie is getting a lot of unnecessary hate. I think it's getting um, tons of hate yeah, for, for no reason. I will say one thing, though, um, and, and I got an interesting uh, philosophy on this, and don't get pissed off at me. It's just all my opinion. Everything in this video is just an opinion. But um, it seems like, because on, on my Instagram and stuff, I follow a lot of, like, you know, the horror community and stuff, and uh, really a lot of positive people. Um, I follow a lot of positive people and it seems like a lot of people love this movie. A lot of people really like the movie, but it seems like it, it seems like critics are the ones that are, um, that are really dissing on it. And I've got an idea behind that. Um, and I could be wrong. I might be wrong, but I don't think I really am. Um, and I'll get to that. So the Oscars, uh, we had Get Out win Best Original Screenplay, and then we had um, The Shape of Water win, think, uh, it won Best Picture, but I'm not sure if it's classified like uh, classified as like a horror or a sci-fi thriller or something. I'm not sure. I haven't had a chance to see it yet. Um, but I think a lot of people are mad. Uh, I think a lot of people are mad because of that. I, I, I could be wrong. I don't know. I could just be reading the wrong stuff, but I have heard that people are mad about that which I don't, I, I, I don't get it at all. I mean, there was a lot of great movies that came out last year, The Three Billboards. Um, I haven't had a chance to check out Blade Runner 2049. I don't know if I am or not because, you know, it just didn't really appeal to me. Um, Star Wars The Last Jedi, I loved. I thought that was one of the best Star Wars movies to come out, and a lot of people hated it. Um, but that's just my philosophy on it. I, I could be wrong, and I'm not dissing anybody, but I do feel like this movie's getting a lot of unnecessary hate, and I feel like if it would have came out after the Oscars, I, I feel like it would have been received a little bit better. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the review. So the or the Strangers Pray at Night, it's a sequel to The Strangers. It's, it's a sequel, but it's a very subtle sequel. It's one of those movies where, you know, it doesn't bridge the gap in between the first and the second one, and there's just a story. It, it, it goes on, and it starts its own story, and, you know, you're just left to watch it. I know a lot of people are critic. I don't really understand why the movie's getting criticized so much. Personally, I think this movie is a hundred times better than the first one. It's honestly, this is probably the best movie I've seen all year compared to the shit that we've had come out this year. Um, it's it's more fun to watch than the first one. I recently just rewatched the first one, um, like a few weeks ago. And I was so bored out of my mind. Like, I literally was on my phone most of the time. I wanted to re-watch the movie because, you know, just to get a feel and just, you know, to to get prepared for the second one, you know, because I didn't want to watch the second one without watching the first one and forget everything that was going on. Um, and there's going to be some spoilers in this, no story spoilers, but there'll be, there's going to be some, but there, there, it won't be anything to hinder the experience. Well, maybe one thing, but it's a movie mistake and I'll get to that. Um... But yeah, it's uh, it's it's a very subtle sequel. It's about this family. Uh, they're shipping their daughter off to uh, boarding school. They go to this trailer park. I think it's uh, that's where she's staying, or that's where she's going to be transported to, or whatever. I swear I'm not giving you guys the finger, but uh, um, but uh, that's where she's going to be uh, transported to, or whatever, or that's where she's going to be staying with their uncle, uh, aunt and uncle, or whatever. I think his name's Uncle Marvin or something. Um, and it, yeah, it just, it goes on from there. You, you have the strangers, they come and, you know, they wreak havoc. Uh, I personally think if you go into this movie watching it, um, if you watch this movie, uh, going in knowing it's a love letter to horror fans, I think you'll like it a lot better. I feel like it was a love letter to horror fans. It probably, if it wasn't meant to be that, it, it came off that way to me because there were so many, uh, scenes in this movie, like the, the, the setting reminded me of like uh, Camp Crystal Lake or Texas or something from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. There was actually a scene in the movie that uh, I think paid homage to the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, it had a very uh, just it had a very slasher vibe to it. It had an awesome soundtrack. 
I thought the acting was really, really good. It was, um, it was amazing. I watch more than just horror movies. Any really big blockbuster movie that comes out, like I'm all on top of it. But I feel like horror movies, they just get pushed out of the way. I feel like the final girl in horror movies um, should honestly go up for an Oscar nomination. They're the, they're the ones that have to scream. They're the ones that have to cry. They're the ones that have to kick, run, and and be this completely different person, you know, this scared person. And, you know, I, I like I said, I just, I feel like that a lot of people are scared to give slasher movies and a lot of these horror movies nowadays good scores because they're not big blockbuster movies. Um, which, it and, and it sucks, you know, because I'm, pretty sure a lot of people really did enjoy this movie. They just don't want to admit it. And that's kind of like, and the reason why that I'm saying this myself is because honestly, this is the kind of movie that I would probably hate on, that I would probably, you know, but when I watched it and I accepted it for what it was and what I seen, like the direction that they were going for, the cinematography was awesome. The soundtrack was awesome. The acting I thought was really good. The tension was great. There's a scene where they go to the pool and... Um, you know, and, and it's shocking. The movie's shocking. At least it was to me. And I'm not really that big of a uh, big of a fan of the first Strangers movie. But if you watch the first Strangers movie and then watch this one, it's going to be kind of a shocker. I know um, a lot of people think that this is just your typical slasher movie, and that's the thing. It is. It's it's the slasher movie that I've been wanting for a very 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 long time. You know it it. It seems the last good slasher movie I think that I watched um, actually was this year. It was uh, Adam Green's Victor Crowley. I thought that was, it was probably the worst out of all the Hatchet movies, but the Hatchet movies are so good. Like, I, I still, I really, so even the worst one is still an enjoyable movie to watch. Um, and I have Terrifier coming out this year as well, this month, actually, and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, but I don't know. I just, I think that if people could just accept it for what it was. I will say, I do understand why some people probably are complaining about the movie. There was one scene in this movie, and I'm going to go ahead and point it out. I'm going to call the movie out on it. There is a huge movie mistake. It is one that I cannot believe they didn't miss, and, I'm, and I sort of think that they didn't miss it. They were probably just too lazy to fix it, and it was um, a scene where the, uh, the this truck explodes, and there's uh, supposed to be... I, I, the, the truck explodes and I can't really say anything because I, I might spoil something. So watch it and pay attention to the truck and you're going to see it sticks out like a sore thumb. And when a movie has a mistake like that, it completely ruins it for me. I, excuse me. It, it just, it really does. It completely ruins the whole entire thing for me. But I will say this movie is a very enjoyable movie. I really enjoyed the characters. I enjoyed the atmosphere. Um, I don't know if I would really want them to make another one. Um, I, I, I don't know. Like the, the ending was really blunt as well. It had a very blunt ending. Um, and the movie it's, itself is not perfect, but honestly, it's probably, it's the most fun I've, I've had in a movie theater in, in a while. It was, it was a very enjoyable movie, and at least in my opinion. But anyway, guys, uh, I'm probably going to give The Strangers, Pray at Night, I'm going to give it probably a 9 out of a 10. I, I really enjoyed it. I know I'm probably going to get hate. I'm used to it, but it was, it was super fun. I think people that are fans of the original ones are going to really like it because I wasn't a fan of the original all that much like this. I, I honestly went and I went to see this movie just because, um, I wanted just, you know, I've already seen the first one. So, you know, I have to watch the second one. That's, that's the only reason why I went to the theater. And honestly, I was taken by surprise. But anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, maybe subscribe. You can follow me on my social media. Link will be down in the description. I hope you guys have a great day. And uh, leave in the comments what you guys thought about uh, Strangers Pray at Night. Uh, what did you guys think? Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoy your day, and I'll see you guys next time.